Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you, um, I'll be showing you my space station in a tin, which is like it's kind of like space Lego, but it's not. So I know it's not a proper Lego, but I picked it up and it did look quite cool. It comes with a a buggy, a rocket, and a satellite. So we'll open the bag, open the bag up. What you have, when you open the tin up, you have that, and you have three bags. And the bags is quite tightly packed in here. The models come in three bags, so we'll start off with the we'll start off with the moon buggy. This is the bag for the moon buggy, and we should have instructions for the moon buggy here, and all the other ones. So not a bad set. This cost me twelve pounds from a department store, but. See, I'll see what, the, see what the quality of bricks is like, but it's one of these sets you could actually go onto Bricklink and actually buy the bits and buy the bits for a, and actually build them out of what I would call proper Lego. But what? Instructions aren't overly clear, so I'm just going to have to guess. They've tried. They've, they've tried to do what, um, what Lego have done. They are using like Lego design parts. Oh, I see. What, I think I see what they've done. Build two of these for the wheels. Two on here like this. Grey bit on here and a grey bit on here. Lots of these bits have been directly borrowed from from Lego, so. So if you don't read the instructions. So what we have so far for it, it's shaping out to look quite quite good at the moment. So they have taken quite a few of the ideas from the space Lego and tried to incorporate it into one vehicle by the looks of things. So that's ne that, that's never a bad thing though, so. That's what we have so far for it.
this bit goes on here like so. Sorry, bear with me. That's what we have so far. It comes apart there, but I'm quite sure when it's built it won't do that. So. These are all Lego derived, Lego derived parts, so. Fish goes on there, and we should have that bit goes on the side there. We have like a little scanner receiver bit that goes on the side there. Let's come off again. We put in the dish on the back of the of the moon buggy of the We have a dish on the back of the buggy. They do seem to incorporate all the bits from um, Space Lego in, 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 into into one build. So, and we and they have maintained the the Lego. Uh, they, that's an interest. They've actually made um, the actual black bits with the um, gearing attack like the mini gearing attachment rather than these round see the round bit here I'll try and show you that you've got a round you've got a bit that goes in one of these holes instead but it made these in black which I don't believe Lego do so someone has thought a bit a bit outside the box on this one so I have built the moon buggy first so to put the as soon as we have a spare brick I'm going to stick it on the back there there we have our Lego moon buggy which is not too bad really so next we will build the, we'll go build the space rocket next. This won't be to, this won't be overly to scale with the, um, with the with the moon buggy, but. Lots of small fiddly bits here, so I should make this quite an interesting build. So these are the jets building the jets for the rocket here. I'll show you this in a minute. That's the base of the rocket there.
these these bricks generally do stay together quite well, which is a, which is a good sign. So, which which actually gives me the impression that someone who who might have a these companies that has, seems to have a license for for building this sort of thing may have been involved. So, I think we got to put some white bits on the on the bottom of these as well. So. That's what happens when you don't read the instructions. Ooh. There are like other sets in the, um, the... The company that has made these has made other... other, other sets of it for these, so... Uh, Puts a couple more bits of the rocket going here. So bear with me, I'm just trying to. I see that bit goes on there. My eyesight is starting to fail these days, so I should really get my eyes tested. There we go. But it's not. It's not that. It's not. It's only. Only bad when you're doing looking really close up stuff. So it's all good on everything else. That's what we have so far for the rocket. And we put these bits on here. It's quite a detailed rocket really, so. Two. Nice orange bit goes on here as well. Orangey yellowy bit. Do apologise, I'm slightly colour blind, so Twice, I thought no, I don't think I'll be that generous. I think those yellow bits are, are supposed to show the uh, the bits that separate off. Right, so now we We have a Lego rotating pad here, so that moving parts, always good. And there we have our rocket move round and, and will blast off as well. So, quite, quite nicely designed rocket. I don't remember Lego doing one like that, but correct me, if anyone, feel, anyone, if anyone can correct me on that, do feel free. Next we'll build a satellite, which is another small bag. We 
definitely have le these are definitely our Lego derived pieces, so which does make the build which does make the build um, a lot more enjoyable. First part of the satellite. They've only had access to, I think, because the tin's so small. They, they, they had to downsize on the on the bricks they used as well. So, which does which does which does show a bit, but. This would make a very nice, um, a very nice stocking filler for um, for for any sort of Lego for any Lego fan. Or any, if any, anyone's a fan of the space Lego, you couldn't really go too far wrong with this. So. so put these bits on here. Built something similar to this. I, th I think I've got. I think somewhere I've, I had a mini version of the International Space Station, of the International Space Station, which was quite a si quite similar build to. Just this does bit the build. Um, the build sort of the build it does feel a bit similar to that. So I'm not sure if I still got that set. I probably have somewhere. Pretty sure I would have. I'm pretty sure that's that, that's somewhere tucked away. This bit goes here. This bit goes here. Next we do the, put the try to work out what they've done here now. So if this bit goes on here. I think the printing's a bit wrong on this, so. Let me double check. Yep. Whoever prints these out does um, seems to have the same problem that um, Lego seems to have when, when they print out on the, when they print out their instructions. So. But that, but that's not the end of the world because if you once you actually know once you know what you're doing with your Lego, you tend not to. It tends not to be too much of an issue. If nothing else, this set will give you some good spare bricks. If nothing, if, if nothing else, uh, they don't come with figures either, which is. It would have been nice if they could put a spaceman in there or something like that. So, but I'm quite sure. I'm quite sure if. if if you shop round the, if you shop round all the, um, um, all the people who do the custom, do do all the custom figures, you 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 you'll probably you'll probably pick up a spaceman for a pound or a couple of pounds, uh, which which isn't which isn't really the end of the world. So now we've got to make the the solar panels. Four of these, and put that bit on there first. That's what we have so far for it. I'm just about just just making the solar panels, which are these bits here. This this does remind me quite a bit of the International Space the Mini International Space Station builds. Uh, it came the came the Mini Space Shuttle as well, which was quite cool. 
I will try and find that for a Lego video one day. So. They could have made these bits a bit more reflective, I would say, but even on a budget, they possibly could have got the um, some of the see-through grey bricks for it. But all right, this is what we have so far for the satellite. These bits move. Now we've just got to put these bits on here. And here we have our satellite as well. Like none of it's to scale with the other bits, but overall they are quite nice pieces on their they're nice pieces on their own. And you could probably make little Lego stands. If you and plus if I do think if you got the bricks for some of for the definitely for the moon buggy and this satellite, you could possibly get it recolored for, for Lego space quite easily, I think. So Overall, it is actually quite. Overall, it is quite a nice build, quite a nice little set, and I will quite possibly try and display this one somewhere. But I don't know where yet. But I will possibly dis display it. So ah, the aerials they put. They instruct you to put the aerials on here, but when you put the aerials on here, it does look a whole lot better. But so you can put the aerials on there when you're not, I don't know. That does look a whole lot better, really. So I hope you've enjoyed this build. Um, I have, because as a, as a fan of the Lego space sets from back in the day, um, I do, I have quite enjoyed it. And I do feel it does have a lot, it do feel it does, it does have a lot of potential. So thank you for watching. And um, if you have any comments or feedback, please let me know. I'd like to thank all my regular subscribers on YouTube and Instagram and anyone who's commented, um, thank, thank you very much and I'd like to, I'd like to thank, uh, I'd like to say hello to Blocky Talky, Jerry Builds Bricks, Captain Redbeard, they, they all do great videos themselves as well so if you like your Lego, um, if you like your Lego, go to them. I will try it. If, if, if you'd like a shout out on my videos, please please leave a comment and I'll try and get that done for you. Okay, thank you for watching. Stay safe, keep building, and I hope very much to see you in my next video. Thank you.